My parents never believed I'd be an actor. The biggest thing that happened to me was, again, that family genetics, the family trauma, the dynamics, all the negatives. I finally said, forget it. I'm done with the negatives and I'm gonna go be an actor. So I had the chance to go tour for 10 weeks in an actor troupe. Now it was a Christian organization. I was heavily involved in my church and they knew Rich stuttered. <laughs> they all knew him really well. And here he is applying to tour and be the big bad Roman soldier in the summertime drama. I'm gonna be the bad guy, the guy that can't talk. We practice, we practice, we practice. The final week of full dress rehearsals, I was an absolute mess. It was affecting the other people in the drama. They couldn't hit their lines, I couldn't hit my lines. Literally, this was one of the most defining moments of what limits me in my life. We came out Friday, the director pulled us backstage. We have a room of about 300 people. And he says, if Rich cannot do this tonight, we have to pull the play. And you guys can do puppets all summer because Rich is good at puppets and voices. Wow, that's really what I wanted to do all summer. <laughs> I stepped out. I hit every line, every mark, every action, every influx. And you could see it with my teammates as we're acting in the moment. They're like, who the heck are you? Where did you go? You're not rich. I step backstage. The director's standing there, mouth hanging open, and going, what just happened? You guys have to go do the drama now. He did it. Not only did we do the drama, I became the lead spokesman for all newspaper interviews. And if they ever wanted someone to preach at Sunday morning, I was the guest preacher at age 18, the kid that stutters. One of the dynamics that happens is you begin to come, become who you dream to become and when you step out and risk and start doing it. One of the biggest things is stop having other people tell you what you can't do and start stepping in what you do.